My name is Jason, and welcome back to a new ASMR creation. Today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Apparently they're quite popular, so we're going back to 2005. 2005. And we're going back to the GOAT format. <laughs> so for the people who don't know, the reason to why 2005 is called GOAT format is because of the card Escape Goat. A very old card, but uh, most of you who ever play Yu-Gi-Oh probably know this card. So the format is named after this card because it was really prevalent in the meta game. And meta stands for the most effective strategy available. Special summons a gravekeeper from the deck. 
so either another spy, so you have more targets in the grave, or a gravekeeper's guard, and gravekeeper's guard has a flip effect to return a monster to on your bronze side to the hand. So also a really nice card to have. Then the last dark was a Sangen. Went percent from field to grave. Add a monster with 1500 attack or less from your deck to your hand. So this could get you basically any card that you need. Then we have some non-darks. We have Tribe Infecting Virus. Discard one and declare a type. For example, Aqua or Reptile. It can destroy all monsters on the field with the declared type. So if your opponent activates a scapegoat, you can destroy all their tokens by discarding one card. Really strong. That's the Nista Serpent. During your standby phase, you can return this card to your hand from the grave. So you could discard this for, for example, Tribe Infecting Virus and get it back on your standby phase. So this is a uh, constant return to hand, which is really nice. Then lastly, we have one Morphin Jar. Flip effect. Both players discard their hands and draw five new cards. Almost like resetting the game or making some advantage. Then now for, of course, the scapegoats themselves. We play two of those two scapegoats because they are enough. Really nice. Get four tokens on the field. And then we play Metamorphosis. This card was so crazy good. Metamorphosis. Because what you could do with this card is you could tribute one monster on your field. And then you can get a fusion monster with the same level. And the most important one was the 1000 Ice Restrict. Also because it was level 1. So you could use your scapegoat tokens that were level 1. And then this card says all the monsters on the field cannot change their battle positions or attack. Also this card can equip one card from your opponent, a one monster, to this card. And it gains the attack and defense. So this kind of locks your opponent out of play. Which is where the control aspect comes in. So this is the control part of the gold control. And then some extra cards. Dark Bell, Bolter the Terrible for level 5 fusions. Also the Fiend Skull Dragon, Raper of Nightmare, and Gatling Dragon. Alright, let's continue with the spells. We have the Trinity. And why is the, why are these three called the Trinity? Because they were broken as spell cards. We have the Lincoln Duo, Graceful Charity, and Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed allows you to draw two cards. Graceful Charity allows you to draw three cards. And this card too. And then the Lincoln Duo. Pay a thousand life points. Your opponent discards one random card and they can discard another card. These were crazy cards that allowed for basically free uh, card advantage. Then we have Parent Burial. Pay eight, feel great, and special summon a monster from your graveyard. <laughs> then we have Snatch Tail. and use it for a tribute summon, for example. Then we have, have Heavy Storm, destroy all spell and trip cards on the field. Then we have Mystical Space Typhoon, destroy one spell or trip on the field. Next up we have two Nobleman of Crossout, destroy one face down monster card. 
lastly for the traps, we have one Mirror Force. Such a classic card. When your opponent monster declares an attack, destroy all opponent's attack position monsters. Then next up we have Tarantula Tribute. When a monster is summoned, destroy all monsters on the field. Then we have Ring of Destruction. Destroy one face-up monster card and inflict damage equal to the destroyed card's attack to the life points of both you and your opponent. It's kind of weird, worded weirdly, but you destroy one face-up monster and both players lose life points equal to the card's attack. That's basically it. Next up we have Call of the Haunted. Target one monster in your graveyard and special summon it in attack position. We have one dust tornado. Destroy one spell or trap on your opponent's field. One sacred to armor. When your opponent declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster. kind of a game. 
this late game. And then two, Raikeki break, discard one, target one card in the field and destroy it. So you could discard a Thunder Dragon or a Knight to Salem with this.
as a first test hand. It's really easy, please. For you still have to be mindful with how you play it. And the card advantage in this 2005 style is really important. Okay, we have another cut. And we draw five. Mystical Space Typhoon, Ring of Destruction, Sinister Serpent, Tsukiyomi, Snatch Tail, and Metamorphosis. Alright, honestly, uh, this would be a better go second hand. Just because going second, you can normal summon the Sinister Serpent, activate the Metamorphosis, tributing the Sinister Serpent, and then you get thousand eyes restrict and control the board state you also have ring of destruction and snatch tail to kind of have even more control over the game so this is really nice a little more test hand Mm-hmm. 